Hey, what's up, everybody? Wardrobe here and LBW Steve, or that's what we call him, LBW Strategy Gaming. And we also have Jeff from Hex to Hex. He's the beautiful face on the right hand side there. And uh, oh, he's like a little, uh, little uh, civil war going on there. Jeff's here for color commentary. We might have a couple other people come on just to be the peanut gallery. Um, so, oh, hey, look, there, there he is. is. Oh, there he's not. All right. So, the big thing that we're doing here is playing Day of Days, but really the big thing is we're hoping um, Steve gets some uh, chocolate chip cookies from the family, and if that happens, we're going to lose them, and we're going to turn the camera on and watch them eat. So that'll be yummy. That'll be the uh, after hours edition of Wardrobe Plays Day of Days. Okay, so this is cool. We um, so we did a I posted a video of us playing. Uh, we decided let's go ahead and you know show everybody live our terrible strategy and all that business. So. Um, I'm speaking for myself, not Steve. Um, oh, you're but I will both. say some of Steve's die rolls in this last uh, first turn of uh, combat were atrocious. But um, so uh, he's playing uh, allies. I'm playing Germans in the full Day of Days campaign. We just finished just now, right before we went live, the allied turn one. So that is cool. And it's now so we've done the landings. We're through allied turn one. And now it's the German turn. So now I got to think through stuff. So I'm going to count on Jeff and Steve to be all talkative. So that for the last time we we talked and bug Steve. Um, so let me uh, get rid of our faces because we don't really care about that. We care about this. Yeah. And I will. Uh, and we and we also played after we did that session where I recorded it, and you can find it on my channel. Um, we did some plays uh, via like play by email type of thing, uh, which is fine. But I really prefer this way because there's all, like he would move a couple and then we'd have to get together with me and see what I wanted to do and then do this. And I prefer this way as much as we can play this way. So I'm going to try to keep us on a, as much as we can, our life allows us to keep us on a schedule to, to, to do this. So pretty much going kind of left to right. Um, I will zoom in occasionally. I kind of need to keep zoomed out here for a second to kind of get a big picture here and, as much as I can, I'll talk through kind of what I'm thinking, but not too much because I don't want to give away my hand. It wouldn't I matter. I wouldn't remember. So I'm just going to zoom out. Look at this. Look at the glory. Yeah. So, well, I mean, I guess while I'm kind of looking around, if you want to talk about how you feel about your first turn and kind of what, you know, I don't know. I feel good you? about the Commonwealth beaches. They seem to be doing pretty good. Omaha is really tough. Looks like we got a few people chatting and saying hello. I can't. Can you turn on an ability for me to answer them, or is that just for you? Because uh, I thought that you could answer them now, but maybe only because I. You can. You have to uh, again put in your account. Hex Jeff is going to answer for us. Okay. Hey Charles, what's up? Walk about my name's Chris. Yep. Uh, uh, Brian, it is. Um, yeah, I didn't call it part one. Just look up Day of Days, uh, LBW Steve or LBW and Wardrobe. It should be in a playlist of SCS as well. It was about, what, gosh, about a month ago we'll yeah. say, that we did that. So you can look that up. Um, yeah. So I will pop in occasionally in here and uh, check that. Anyway, so yeah, so the Commonwealth actually did seem pretty good. They had some pretty good results. I mean, I, yeah, I'm pretty good. And he has a lot of stuff there. Yeah, Omaha was a bummer like it should be and. Utah. I felt like Utah was fine. I don't know. Kind of middle of the road. Yeah, it was kind of nothing special, but it wasn't horrible. But it's nothing great. But you got stuff like way the heck over here in the west. So okay. So do I? I assume I don't get anything. You forgot the obligatory. What's that? Omaha. Omaha. Oh, bleh. <laughs> boo! Who invited you? No, I'm sorry. I don't want to say that. I invited you. I'm glad you're here. Sorry, Jeff. Sorry. Yeah, we got in trouble for teasing Jeff last time too much. We got scolded. We did. He's not. Our we way. like Jeff. We do like Jeff. All right. So where are the? Um, oh, there they are. I'm sure I'm not getting anything this turn. Yeah, turn three is my first reinforcement. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Do I have limitations on moving? Let's look at the German stuff. You think I would do this? This is the hallmark of my channel. I hope Brian's watching. He loves this part of it. Uh, reinforcement entry, division coordination. So I've got some people that can't stack together. Strong points. Uh, I don't really, I have like three special, four special rules and none of them have to do anything. 
I thought I had some limitations, but I'm probably thinking of another game. So, so you can see the map doesn't quite go up to all the way to Sherberg. So let's uh, zoom in to over here. Oh, that's too close. And let's see what I got. Since Steve and I talked, whoa, I got a mouse that helps me scroll a little easier, which is cool. Somebody's uh, going to ask to tell them what the red lines are for. The, those red lines are dividing the Commonwealth uh, areas of operations in the um, U.S. Yeah, we can't cross can't cross over those. The Americans can't go east of that, and the Commonwealth can't go west of that. Right? So. so the red boxes are our victory hexes. Is that right? Yeah. And you you need to block off one of these exit markers or all the C's or all the D's? No, I think I just have to capture the two that are. Oh, the two reds. The two yeah. red. Yeah, okay. All right, what's my first I'm just thing? trying to get off the beach right now. I think long term, bro. <laughs> I don't. Road march. Moving this guy here. Are you all using the full length movement as long as you stay on the same map? Yeah. I mean, I think we didn't really discuss it. I, I assume we're just doing road march as is. Yeah, I would assume. Yeah. I mean, Jeff, it, I think one of the special rules is you stay on the. Oh, wait, is it the same map or the same? Because uh, you're right. There is that. I need to make sure of that, actually. Is that an optional rule or a. No, nah, I think it was designed so because I mean you could move from the southern map all the way to the northern map if they didn't have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. Um, uh, to use road march, uh, you must fill each of the following. You must be in a road or trail X. You cannot be DG or out of supply. You you cannot begin stacked. Uh, units that are in a stack in an entry area is an exception to that, or a beach X are an exception. Cannot begin within three hexes of an enemy unit of any kind or status. Uh, count hexes. Terrain does not affect this distance. Uh, so remember, you just can't stack when you end your movement. Uh, you can ignore any friendly unit with a movement allowance of NA, though. That doesn't count if you go over them. Um Units with a zero movement allowance can road march. Units with an MA of NA cannot. Move any distance along connected roads and trails, not railroads. You must stop when you get to location you wish to go to, or the unit enters a hex adjacent to some other friendly unit blocking the road, or you enter a new map sheet. There it is. So that right there I don't think is in the printed book. You're looking at the the, the digital the one. Whatever the downloaded one is, yeah, the most current one. I forgot I need to look open that up actually. Let me do that real quick. So yeah, like anybody coming in on C right now couldn't use road movement because I got an enemy within three hexes of that. So you're gonna have to shove that airborne guy out of there. Hey Jeff, my daughter's making me cookies tonight. Well, okay. Does she door dash? <laughs> Not to the East Coast. I tip pretty good. You hear that? If you go out to the East Coast, Erica, you can get a good tip. So, yeah. so then I wonder if we need, kind of need to mark the edges of some of the maps then. Because I, I do like that, that they yeah. added that. Okay. Well, I'm not doing that right now, so I don't have to worry about that now. So, and trails count too, right? Yep, just not railroads. Trails and roads are good. Moving this guy here. Wait. Yeah. Doing I'm doing a few guys road march. Okay. Sh 
showing you where I moved him. Oh, he'll, I have it unfollow you, so it'll follow you as you move. Oh, that's right. This is uh, pretty exciting here, everybody. I'd like to uh, thank you for your time and your service and watching us play. Uh, huh. <sighs> I like the way I think, Jeff, you play this way. I think Andrew might play too, uh, McMurray, that you play without knowing where the reinforcements are coming in. <laughs> Oh, I, lo I love to do that. I haven't looked at mine. I don't know where mine are coming in. <laughs> Chris Long, be a little more specific. You want a map so that you can create your battlefield off of it? Yeah, I'll come check the comments when I'm in between some phases too, but I, I, I trust Jeffy, Jeffy Poo to get that done here for I appreciate that, Jeff. Uh, let's see. So I just moved those guys in there, but do I want to well, uh, meandering Mike joined us? So. Oh, cool, hi, man. Hi, Mike. Hi, Brian. Oh, you Charles, can. walkabout games. I think you already said hi to all those guys too. So. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Sorry, I moved Mr. Movement guy. So let's see. What's moving on road? Oh, wait. Yeah, what's wait? Oh, this is road march. Shoot. I'm I'm sorry. I should only be doing road march, guys. Sorry. Yeah, just do road march first. Okay. Chris, you can download the USGS quad maps for the entire world. You can get those for free, and I'm sure Adams County is in there. And that would probably serve your purpose. Yeah, Charles, it's SCS that we're playing. Day of Days. How how close can you get to a zone of control when you're road marching? Just like one away? Uh, three. Three hexes. Okay. All righty. Oh, actually, no, actually, it says, uh, and you have to stop. You can't go through a unit, a fellow. You just, can't, you just can't go adjacent, but you can't start within three hexes of me. Oh, I can't start, but I can end out of your zone you just, of control. You just can't end adjacent. Yeah. Okay. I guess for road march, I'll just kind of go through the kind of stopping points here. I do like it. So I like what they've done here a little bit is they've put some of the guys just right off a trail or a road. So it stops the Germans from road marching that first turn. Kind of, you know, you can kind of simulate in there. You're not, they're not quite ready to go. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. So all these guys are covered. Even Nord, how you doing, buddy? Oops. A limit. Good evening, stacking. How you doing, brother? Hey, Nordic. So when I play this kind of game solo, I'm a little loosey-goosey. Like, I, I, I don't ever, like, pass somebody that I couldn't pass, but I also, I go like, oh, I couldn't move him there. I move him. So, but here I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be good. Making sure I'm following all the rules. Completely. 
is there there at some point there's division integrity and stuff isn't there which i always want to have in the scs but i've never played one with it i think i don't want to get my guys too spread apart i think i don't know if there's division integrity in scs is there well not usually but they have something with so how's the command points work when we ever we start getting those I guess uh oh uh, okay you just have to have the formation and blah, blah. okay so then my only restrictions is i just have some of my ss divisions and stuff can't work with other units so that that's the restriction so they're not like you know keeping them all grouped together you have something with core operations or something yeah yep. and, and non-banded units what's that about all right so they can't be they can't okay i don't have to worry about that right now they, i just want, I, I didn't want to get my guys all spread out and then find out oh yeah you need to keep those all together i have to activate a formation so i have to use an activated activation marker for the formation gotcha okay oh there's saint con du mont Ooh, 16. hold on hold on shoot i'm going to undo i don't know where that guy was sitting so it turns one through four, all formations of both sides are considered activated. Yeah, right, right. Turns one through four, you said? Yeah, we don't have to worry about it until turn five. All right, sounds good. Thanks. Yeah, okay, I really do like that. That's really cool that they got all these guys off of roads and stuff. Um, I mean, I don't like it, but it's good. Fun way to stimulate that. Oh, they can't move it either because they're stacked, you goobers. in charge of this army these guys aren't these guys aren't even prepared for an invasion Gee, my that's the way we like it yeah i don't know we're all stacked together hanging out together i mean guys i can't do this road march crap you do this kind of stuff to me i gotta go steal some cookie dough i'll be right back easy i don't want you getting kicked off the stream because there everyone's mad at you Oh, it was an opportune time. Nobody's in there. So. Sweet. No one will know until I tell them. Oh, she'll know. <laughs> Dad gum. This is great. When they walk back in, and there's a big paw print right through the bowl of all the dough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. is, is that your facial impression? Ugh. What's going on, Nordic? What's that? Nordic said we have to hold off for 15 minutes. Yeah. He has to step away. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoopsie doodle. Okay, I'm afraid our game of Day of Days has been canceled. We have got to turn two, and uh, Steve will not be joining us anymore. No, I'm good. Nobody, nobody got me. He's lost all privileges for... Uh, <laughs> playing, play, playing with his friends. I'll tell you what, everybody was on their best behavior. My wife wanted to get milk. I know. Jeff just he was she was all getting milk for him. And I'm like, what the blank? It's kind of like we had company or something, so everybody was behaving real good. <laughs> or or you're being set up for a purchase. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just did a bunch of landscaping, so. Hmm. Go move that guy there instead. And I am also streaming this. Oh, cool. Thanks. Uh, so, hey, can you explain to Steve how you did that? Because he couldn't find the the thing to do that. Well, it's it's up in the top right hand corner of your. Do you have to, do you have, to have, do you have to have a Streamyard account to do that? Well, you join stream. Well, you do. You have your Streamyard link to your YouTube channel. 
Uh, I don't have, I've never he, used StreamYard. He's never used StreamYard before. That's why he's not seen it. Uh, okay. okay. I mean, creating an account is a matter of, I think, because, I don't know, do they do free anymore or not? Probably not. Yeah, you can sign up for free. Oh, so then if you, you don't have to do it. But if you did that, then you could, if it mattered. I'll yeah. try. Okay. You know, if I was smart, I'd have a nice reserve sitting there to keep me, keep me honest. And at least some of these guys are. Two one zero one eight one. Okay, I signed up for free. How come it doesn't let me do it? Yeah. You probably have to. You got to link StreamYard to your YouTube channel. I thought okay. it was funny how Clay starts asking about Turbo So Sword, and here I am out there clipping one on my coffee table. Terrible Swift Sword, that's what you're doing tonight? I was out there clipping. Uh, I finally got the soapbox version of it. The only problem was is all the unit counters in there, but every one of the GBACW games this guy gave me, there's no informational counters in any of them. Thankfully, I have Terrible Swift Sword, and I can put it all down to my soapbox. You can, you can usually find that game. You pay a couple dollars for it. It's not like a case of blue or anything, but you can pay a couple hundred bucks for it. So basically, everybody, I'm doing this road march. Road march allows you, and this is some people have a problem with this, with this game, and um, it never snows. As long as you're moving along a rail, a road, and trail, I just can't cross into maps. And I, I really want to mark that because I don't want to do that. But you stop at the edge of your maps. So like this map B here, he can't leave map B with road march. Now, if I want to move him later, I can. if I want him in A or something, then I can move him over there. So like this, where this red box is here, this red line, I can't this turn road march him past there. If I want to pick him over there and road march him, I need to move him over there just during normal movement and um so right now i'm just doing this basically it's like strategic movement i don't remember um i don't know i don't know why that's a problem i think that's pretty good so it, it they started with bastone and in bastone that is such a small scale game that hey man, where's that guy going he can't go past that stack of guys though I, I, he came up this road here. Oh, you want it? And he came oh, up. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to. I'm trying to do little segments, but then my mouse gets all squirrely, and I. End yeah, up I, don't, I don't. I didn't play with this rule. I just like doubled their movement or whatever. I thought it was the the time and the movement. I thought was not. I didn't like it. At least not for this guy. Bastone makes sense because it's such a small area. And McMurray and I calculated out like it's you could walk across the map a hard march. You could do it in one day, like whatever a game turn was. Here, it's a little harder to say. Like I mean, I don't know what are the turns on this game. Uh, well, this is a little different because we have the drops and stuff. But um, well, right. But normal turn. Normal turn is an AM and a PM. So it's twelve hours basically. Yeah. So, you know, could they get that far in 12 hours? Well, not I think driving. I think driving they could. Not convert into a truck or something. Okay, let's see here. Maybe so. Who do I got back here? Who I got guys down there? Uh, 
Well, I guess I can highlight units. That might help me highlight formations and stuff. But. Yeah. We should be fine, but if you lose me, we have a thunderstorm rolling through. So, okay. If it knocks out our power, that's why I'm gone. That or I'm eating cookies. I think that's more like that's more likely the issue. <laughs> Chuck, did you by chance have the small Civil War game? I can't think of what the name of it is now. The Light Place Civil War game on pre-order. It's going to be on pre-order forever. Man, I don't know where to put this guy. So actually, road march is actually a good uh, t thing to do on play by email. Yeah, I'm fine. Well, I just I was just trying to think of phases that are you know that would go like there's nothing you can do. Yeah. And yeah, definitely... we can still we can do still do some of that if it's not involving interaction. We can certainly do some of those things to speed it up if we want. Yeah. I mean, I'm not too worried about you know rushing to get it done i just it was it is nice to be able to make progress when we can't get together but i also yeah. kind of got a little frustrated with the uh, typing everything down and i was like Ugh, bleh, i'm not here to work man yeah i'm here yeah. to play i'm here to that's, play games that's the one chuck rebel fury is that the that's a is that an easier level game yeah that's that lightweight one that hasn't been printed yet Who's that by Jeff? It's it's on it's been on GMT's P five hundred for about three or four years now. Oh, GMT, okay. Yeah, Andrew's got it. I think he's got it on pre order. Yeah, because yeah, I, I thought I remember that. Start filling up con here, so you can't ever take it. I just finished yeah. a just I just d finished decision at Normandy by Carl Detest Detest Det. Just I mean, whatever his name is. That was interesting. They should be called Decision at Normandy. I hate Montgomery because that's what it was freaking the book was about. <laughs> I hate Montgomery. It was brutal. I mean, yeah, he doesn't like Montgomery. It was just kind of it was kind of to defend against because like you know, Montgomery was kind of a glory hound a little bit, and I think he was kind of a little cocky dude. Well, I'm not a Montgomery fan, but you could probably argue that with all of those generals, and most of them are little glory hounds, at least the Who ones is? that we remember. Who is? Montgomery. But it's like, well, okay. Yeah, well, no, exactly. Yeah, who who isn't? Yeah, I'm going to take my uh, SPI flat pack Gettysburg because the flat pack doesn't exist anymore, and I'm going to put all the stuff into the soapbox so that I have a nice, pretty shelf copy to look at. Is that the first batch of cookies getting done? They're not done. You're eating one. Somebody ate all the dough. Yeah, <laughs> someone ate all the dough. Hey, I can mute you guys. Okay. <laughs> Too late now. We threw it out there already. <laughs> well, the shit, the cookie dough police isn't here. I can test one of those. See if they're done. 
Don't do it. He just had his hands in there. Why are you guys afraid of it? You're, you won't even get on camera. Todd's got the screen up. Oop, yeah, you can. No, no one can see you. You're safe. Well, they're too hot for sure because they fall apart, but oh, I don't know. They taste good. I, hey, if you bring them to Jeff and I, we won't complain about them. No, she wanted me to know yeah. if they were. <laughs> We will appreciate your efforts and the yeah, hard work. I do too. She was asking me if they were done. I said, "Well, I don't know. They, they're they're super hot, so they're falling apart. I don't know if they're not done or just too hot." That's good cookies, there, buddy. Well, it that's what I said. It tastes good. I could have just shoveled it in right off the plate. You got third degree burns, but man, yeah, <laughs> it's like eating with pizza, getting the cheese stuck to the roof of your mouth. No, oh, it's the worst. I've talked to you a while since your daughter's there. How's college? She's not here right now. She went to her room because everyone's hiding because we're live. Uh, well, we got no cameras on. There's no cameras. Eric, I don't know how college is going. Just don't burp. <laughs> yeah, no, no burping. Come here, Erica. She gets mad at me. I get scolded when she when I burp. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff, Hex to Hex, Jeff wants to know how college is going. It's going good. It's going really good. What's the major? Microbiology. Oh, oh dang. Nice. That's nice. cool. And how's the jarhead doing? Jarhead? Jared. Jared. Oh. He's getting ready for med school. Oh, dang. Man. Man, you got a smart, smart kid and a smart whatever. Who's the other guy you talked about? <laughs> That's my son. Oh, Jared. your son. Okay. I didn't know if it was yeah, who that was. Okay. Yeah, no, he uh, he maxed out on the ASVAB test when he went into the military. They made him take it again in case he was cheating. Oh, that's hilarious. And then he picked to be a Marine because he wanted the hardest boot camp, he said. So good for him. He was going to do Air Force, but then he thought, nah, Air Force sounds too easy. I better do Marines. And he's still grinding with it, huh? No, actually, he got out with the whole COVID thing. Oh, are you, oh yeah. Okay. All right. But he's got something he can pursue, so that's cool. So, yeah, Jared well, and Erica, y'all are doing great. That's awesome. Glad to hear you. Yeah. Erica, they said you're doing great. Thank you. She's a she's a big super A student. She gets that from oh. her mom, not from me. So, uh -huh. what? Well, maybe, um, maybe she'll figure out a cure for COVID. Yeah. Ah, uh, maybe. <laughs> That'd be pretty amazing. What? Can you figure out a cure for old age and how to stop it. Sorry. She didn't hear you, what? Can you figure out a cure for old age and how to stop it? Old age? Oh, that's the ultimate question, <laughs> right? I don't think I can, but maybe I can help. What What year are you in school? I'm halfway through, so I'm going into my junior year. Oh, cool. All right. Yeah. Is it just four years? Yep, yeah, just four years. Are you ready to get back to my gaming? All right, I guess she's doing Minecraft. We're interrupting her Minecraft game. Oh, so. Sorry. I'm on a server. Sorry. <laughs> they're waiting for me. She's on a server and they're waiting for her. So she Understood. Left. We get it. She's a gamer nerd. She's just a little different gamer nerd. She doesn't play war games with me, but it's okay. I still play World of Warcraft. I decided to splurge on Taco Bell tonight. I'm sorry. And you, you're trying to commit. Never mind. I know. I just, I'm sitting here thinking the same thing. My tummy's all messed up now. <laughs> all of a sudden, Jeff is gone. We'll know why. <laughs> don't you worry. I'll mute when that happens. <laughs> well, yeah, don't bring us in the bathroom with you. We don't want an on location. <laughs> why not? McMurray does it. <laughs> I think we've all done that before. Facebook chat with us late at night, Steve, because we're a hoot. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't been on Facebook as much. I used to run into you guys on there whenever you were doing live, but yeah, we, haven't, we haven't done a pre-programmed show here in a while. We need to. I 
I am finished with road march. Now movement. So more of the same. That's right. I'm having fun. I just get to sit here and banter and eat yeah, cookies. But this, that's what I got to do last time. On location from Hexy's bathroom. Hey, I want to thank the 13 people watching right now. Appreciate it. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty much what we have to do is just banter because these um, these guys aren't going to get much action on the map right now. Let's see, what do we have? So when a movement and then we get to combat there's no barrage in this portion of the no barrage on this portion of the play so that's kind of funny the germans barrage on the <clears throat> in the yeah. allied turn there's uh just, just road march movement combat exploitation supply then we're at the next turn Nice. I got the uh, preliminary glass of milk here, so I'm getting ready. It's like you're, there's like rules to eating chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, eat them as many as you can, as often as you can. Thank you. Mm -hmm. right, here we go. Mm. Was there a limit to how many times a, a something can be barraged? Well, um, you have to set up all your barrages before you start, and you can only do three barrages on a stack. Okay. So I'll start moving on the since I'm over here, I'll just start over here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Movement terrain movements. So that's pretty much all going to be the same. Huh. All right. So while y'all are goofing off, I'm going to ask everybody what's everybody in chat? What, what games are sitting on the table right now? Good question. Good question. I'm going to have to, it looks like I'm going to have to continue to play Gettysburg 77. How are you liking that? Oh, it's okay. I, there's still a lot of, I'd say there's, you know, my last video I shot, I said that was probably it um, for that. But then, you know, I got some tidbits from some people that are big into it and everything that cleared up a few things for me. So and then I got some that are asking me, tell me you're going to keep shooting videos on this because they're really enjoying it. So. It's like I'm going to have to do it. Hell's Highway, good game, very good game. Ooh, that's, someone's got that set up? That's pretty cool. John Howley is building the HMS Nelson. Which play test in there, Chris Long? Stacking is the one playing Hell's Highway. Yeah, Chuck, I got a feeling that when that – does release i'm not i'm not pre-ordered to that but i gotta feel like i'll end up whenever it pops grabbing a copy of it oh you're playing okay chris i got you no i know what you're talking about now the, the game that you're doing i got it oh move to contact mm -hmm. i'll tell you man this I don't, y'all can be as mean and ugly and rude and hard as you want about it, but this is the priest SCS map in existence. No, it's not. Well, maybe, maybe SCS. Some people have a problem with it when they're playing it in person because the light bocage and heavy bocage are a little hard to tell. It depends on your, what your vision's like. Love this map. If all SCS games look like this, I'd own three copies of all of them. Hmm. I want to change what I just did there. Let's see who backtracking, putting this guy back over here. Sorry. 
Red Tide yeah. is a good game, Chuck. You're talking about the Revolution Games one, right? You don't need to talk while you're moving. I'm having a conversation with the observers. Sorry, okay. sorry. Sorry, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, you be careful. We got scolded for how we treated you. You'll get scolded for treating us. <laughs> I'm just firing back. <laughs> I was thinking what we could do on some of these live plays is my new website set up where I can do some discount codes and we can say whoever watches live that night, we can get them set up with a one-time use personal discount code that nobody else would get. I'm still waiting for the other plan that you were talking to me about. The uh, affiliate stuff? Yeah. Yeah, I just talked to my business partner about that today. We're getting close to launching that. So I'll let you, I'll let you, you'll be one of the first guys I let know. Sweet. But I was talking about a discount code. So if you buy something on the website, you get a discount. I'd even give you one of those, Jeff. I was about to say, <laughs> 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 I was about to say you should give me one to give out on like a special thing or something. I could do that too. We could do special stuff like that if you want to advertise it. We could do. Yeah, I got no harm with it. Yeah. All of our stuff's ten percent off already. We could do another ten or twenty percent off depending on what kind of special you want to do with free shipping or something. John, it's a good game. It's sitting. Todd, I'll tell you, and they'll argue with me about it. It is. It's my favorite SCS game. It's in my top five games of all time. I think there's so much game in this box, and it's a it's a monster game that's easy play. That is the best thing about it. I re I gotta admit, I really did enjoy my playthrough of the Commonwealth Beaches on this. Can anyone overrun or just yellow? Just yellow. Okay. Just exploit count exploits can overrun in the exploitation phase only. Yeah, John's like the solo player. Although I've got these urges to do some stuff with other gamers, but just tying myself to do it. I figure after September, I should be good. I should be bubble. We should create a heavy schedule for the winter. Cancel Christmas. We're going to play games. And how much does it cost to move into zone control? Two? Uh, that I have to look up. Unless Jeffy knows. I thought it was just one extra movement point, didn't it? In this game, you can move through zones control too, right? Yeah, usually. Plus two movement point. And it doesn't stop you? Uh, no. If you begin in an EZOC, you cannot overrun in that phase, though. That's a good question, Nord. You know what I ought to do is I ought to put up a list of like, there's like 10 games that I really want to jump into. Maybe I'll put up a list and let everybody else decide what I'm going to play. Of course, I'm choosing the games on the list, and then you all choose from the list. <laughs> I'm not going to have somebody put on there, oh, you're going to play the full campaign of Squad Leader Philippines. Oh, speaking of that, Jeff, you know what I found? I got into Advanced Squad Leader now, and the reason I did is because I found out I can play Omaha Beach. Oh, uh, he said it. Omaha, Omaha! <laughs> it, yep, 40 yards per hex. Yeah, nah. 10 man per counter. Yeah. Come on, you know you want to. You go right ahead and let me know a year from now when you're done with the first movement segment. A year from now? I won't even be done with the starter kits by then. <laughs> yeah, that's something else we need to get back to, too, is starter kit stuff. I'm liking the starter kits. I don't know if I'll ever play the Omaha one, but that's what got me back into it. Well, I told Todd that all the all the squadron stuff I got, I asked, I said, is there any reason why I can't just do, use starter kit rules to play it? And then he started in all the sniper stuff and the elevation buildings. and. <laughs> 
Oh, you see, Jeff, actually. Started browbeating me. I'm going back to Band of Brothers, man. Forget it. You can't. You stole one of yours. That's right. I did. Comeback Commander is kind of fun. Yeah, uh, Comeback Commander is fun, Jeff. Why don't you play that? Uh, Well, okay, I'll take the box. <laughs> Whatever you got to do, man. <laughs> it's in a box on its way to the wardrobe's house. From what am I playing right now? I'm playing. I'm playing Day of Days with Wardrobe. Uh, I might be starting a battle for Normandy game with a friend of mine. Oh, who are you playing that with? Or can you tell us? Big secret. Uh he does. He's not a YouTuber, so you wouldn't know. Him. Can DGs can DG spot for? DGs have zero freaking abilities. Yeah, they can spot for barrages. No, I canceled that rule. Anyway, so yeah, that's cool. Has he played before? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, we played some. We played a lot of face-to-face -face stuff together. He's a guy that comes to my store a lot. We do some miniature gaming, some hex encounter stuff. Uh, we played. Uh, we were doing a series on my channel for the called the Civil War. I was doing the recording. We weren't playing it together live, but we were doing a play by email, and I was recording the, the log files. What game? Uh, Civil War, the remake of the Victory Game one by GMT. Oh, yeah, the U.S. Civil War game. Yeah, U.S. Civil War. Sorry. So, I got about six games going on right now. I got. I'm playing Bar uh, Lobbisits. Playing uh, Labat, Ligny. Uh, uh, I have that now. Do you have Ligny? Yes. I just Ligny? got it from a very good friend. You get that from Clay? A wardrobe. A wardrobe? You get rid of that wardrobe? Oh, no. A local guy was selling it. And we, and uh, Jeff, he, he did the old... Well, I'm interested, but I, I can't get it right now. I don't have the money. So I felt sad, and he, he was like a charity case for me, so I, I did it. You just moved on that big old heart of yours, and then... I know. I can't I can't say no to the Hexy when he's batting those big baby blues. He sent me three boxes in the last week and a half. <laughs> I see. Chuck, uh, so the only game from Revolution, and I forget that, well, other than I need to get the new one, the only game in their inventory that I do not own is the Corregidor one. There's something about I, it just doesn't look right. And oh, stack, I can't stacking, who are you asking that live or on Vassal thing to me? Or Vassal. Oh, Steve. Everybody wants to see me see my bald spot when I lean over the table in front of the camera. Well, that's fine. It's my dream. Yeah, it's like, as I say, that's you know that comes in right after a plate of chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, 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 hey! This is live. Yeah, let's go. We got to class it up a little bit more, girl. Jeez, Todd. Sorry. Are we able to? Use, can we use your real name, Todd? No. <laughs> oh man, two wonderful days of work already this week. <coughs> yeah, this week's dragging for me. I don't know why. Well, Steve, if you can like put me up in your basement, man, I'll quit everything down here and bring all my games and clothes and move up there and work in the store. Okay, well, just don't ask me that when the wife's walking around the house. It's probably not going to happen. <laughs> Hey, hey, I will enjoy the chocolate chip cookies too, okay? I'm just saying, you got to give me a little more lead prep time than oh. blurting it out. <laughs> you know, you got to let me ease into that one. Can you cross rivers into a zone of control? Infantry can. Uh, a zone of control doesn't go across the rivers. Uh, uh, it, it doesn't, it only, it don't, doesn't go across major rivers. It goes across little rivers. Basically, whatever you can't move. If you can't move across that zone of control, doesn't affect it, right? Where are you at? Get the little. Uh, I was just thinking about like, so if you want to, well, I guess there's a bridge there, never mind. But if there wasn't a bridge there and you wanted to cross into this hex, it's going to cost you plus two to move there. Sometimes you can't cross a river if it's into an enemy zone of control, right? But I don't, I don't think that's a 
a fact. I haven't, I haven't seen that as a thing. So. Yeah, I don't think it is. So um, yeah, because I remember having to move my infantry down late in the game because I couldn't get the armor across the rivers. The bridges were occupied. Oh, Steve, are you playing Normandy? Are you going to Vassal or are you playing it live at the store with the guy? Uh, we're going to do Vassal, but here's the weird thing. We get together so we can be face-to-face, -face and we have both our laptops, and we sit there and roll the dice and talk and hang out while we have the map digitally in front of us. Huh. I, can't, I don't have room to leave it left of, left of the store for, for weeks, you know. We've seen the pictures of your store. Yes, it looks like you do. You got a whole freaking Indian reservation in the back room. What? <laughs> I, I could do that, but then the local people would be unhappy when I told them there was no table space for them. Uh, Jester, hey, don't buddy. I would have thought y'all would be all over me about, you know, I'm venturing into using Vassal. Played a game with Todd, short game online. I've been trying to I've been trying to lay low with that and not get too out of hand. And if you know why I might bail. <laughs> I got yeah. you I got I, you to I, pass I it with me for about a half a turn and then I just think about the room I could save in my playroom here if I didn't have everything set up on tables. You got to think now, Jeff, did you not see my video where I'm playing on a 65-inch television? It's like having a map hanging on the wall. Yeah, I saw that. I saw, well, I didn't see the video. I saw your picture of your TV. Where the hell did you put that at? Is it right in front of you? It's just right in the living room. Well, you're sitting in front of your computer. What good is it doing you? What? Well, you're sitting at your computer. Right now I am, yeah. Yeah, but what good is that TV doing you if you're not sitting in front of it? Well, I don't do it every time. Oh, I've got, Lord, I've got my gaming computer out in my living room has three gaming monitors on it. That's used to where I do this at. I'm telling you, dude, you get a 100-inch 100 100 television. I'm just, my TV isn't even 4K. It's just I'm using a resolution of like 3840 by 2160, and it's not blurry at all. I mean, you couldn't play video games on it because it wouldn't do it right, but you're playing Vassal. works just fine. You're right, Jester. There is a ton of it. I got a couple of 55s around here, but hell, I even got a freaking high def television sitting up there on the ground in the living room because I don't need another television. Every room's got one. This one's got one mounted on the wall. But that solves your problem where you don't like it not being able to see like the whole map. No, 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 Steve. No, no, no. It doesn't work like that. Resolution is still, you can only set it to a certain point. I still can't see the whole map unless I zoom out and all I see is red against blue. Uh, it's, you're, it's never going to solve my problem. I, I, you know, that's, that's the one thing I think is keeping me playing on my tabletop. Now, a smaller battle might be a different story. But then again, I am venturing into the world of testing this and trying this. I saw that. I'm excited about that. I just apparently I don't want to push you along too fast. <laughs> now, see, John, I, John's got it right there. You know, they say it's easy enough for a five-year-old, but the problem is there's never a five-year-old around when you need one. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, I sold all my kids on the black market. Okay, just moving along here, everybody. Just everyone's having a good time. I don't see nothing happening. I don't explain it. Oh, never mind. What? I can no, I'm seeing you moving. You just you're moving that mech unit right now. Oh wait, am I not supposed to say that out loud? Probably not. But you move that mech unit right up against the beach. I can see what he's doing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just, I thought you were going to defend Khan. You're running away from it. Oh, never mind. 
I see what I see what you're doing. I see your strategies. Damn, now I want a cookie. I don't have any of the towels. <laughs> Broncos. Second batch is over there cooling off right now. Oh man. I only had three. Yeah, I gotta go see the doctor tomorrow, so I need to stay away from that. Taco Bell's okay though. Yeah, you wouldn't want to stack that on Taco Bell. Even that might be a perfect storm. <laughs> Don't worry. If I did that, I'd be unstacking it pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, John Halley wants y'all to kill something. Sorry, man. There might not be a lot of destruction tonight. You know what I didn't do after that last turn, is I, uh, after the road move, is... Um, I did not un take off all the move markers. Oh. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, because you can delete that little uh, red line, right? You did that with a shift or something. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I've moved everybody that I'm going to move like here and over. Boy, those are pitiful little lines there. They look a lot bigger when you're hovering over the map, don't they? <laughs> yeah. I just wish they'd just be their normal size. So I think I've done everything there. All right, so everyone else, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it off so it doesn't get weird. Yeah, see now who moved. Uh, where is that? I got it. You're good to go. Where what's it called? It just says move. Actually, it says MOV. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I got it on the far right on my channel. Okay. It's the MOV button. All right. Boy, moving takes a little bit longer than Road March. Sorry, we're not in a race. Oh, I see why you do that. Okay. One, two, three, four. Move all that artillery off the road so you can road march. No, oh, that guy's moved. How come? Okay, so I, I know I moved that guy. Why is he not marked? Oh, because we took off the move. So I guess we actually moved guys over here. So I'm, now I'm cheating. Fantastic. Cheers. Let's see. Hexy, I have a question about GVACW playing three days at Gettysburg. Do you use the efficiency system in that version of the rules, or do you make the extra AM as used in the update? Um, okay, I, so I have not read the 2023 rule book yet. From what I understand, all I need to do is read the blue stuff. So if I were playing right now, I would, I would probably use efficiency the way it stands in the in the. Well, so the efficiency would be covered in the in the battle book. So so this might be a rule Nord that I haven't looked at yet. I don't know anything about it. Okay. How's that one British unit DG right in the middle of nowhere right there? Airplane? He, he's, airplane. he can he can move. He just couldn't. No, I'm just wondering how he got DG out there in the middle of nowhere. Got it. He's afraid. Uh -huh. I shot. ordered two copies of it, of it. Limit two copies, brother. One 
one to admire and one to play. Well, the, the system is the, the, the core system is the same, nor they just it's manipulated for the different battles. And you're right, I, I agree. Into the Woods is definitely a different animal. Even this World War II gamer bought that uh, bayonets and swords for from Stigler by Stigler, not from Stigler. Well, Nord, if, you, if you're going to do it, you need to do it while the price is at $63. I'm going to tell you, you're not going to, because believe me, I've seen it. There's going to be so much stuff in that box. It's not funny. Which the three dog? Yeah. That's a, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked at that price. Well, I got news for you too. What these people, a lot of people don't know is River of Death is going to be right behind that with the new Chickamauga map. But I saw that thing there and I was like, oh my God. Yeah, casket, it's worth it. I, I, I don't, most times I don't see a whole lot about needing to have two, two games with that one. There's one that I think you do. <clears throat> I'm trying, I'm working on it, Linda. So let me know when you order yours so I can put a tick mark next to your name, too. <laughs> Yeah, bayonets and swords, guys. If you, those of you that don't know, that's Stigler's design. He did that to help initiate people with lighter weight games into the GBA CW system. But they're also still fine, playable games too. Yeah, I'm gonna get that one. I should have asked him to give me his uh, vassal stuff to let me play it. Are they still play testing that one? No, it's it's P500. I mean, he's always doing something with it, but. It's already in, in art, I think, or headed to art. Oh, no, I think. Oh, it's heading to art. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Nice limit. Nice. No, 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 no. I don't. I, well, I. they're hoping because it passed its number in less than 24 hours. And I think by the, the afternoon of the second day, it was well, well beyond that they think GMT might bump it to the front of the queue. That would be so cool because at the time that we're talking about last night, you know, why pass on that guaranteed money? Integrity. Integrity. Why? Well, if that's a rule, it goes in line. Well, that apparently doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I just said you asked the question. I threw out an answer. <laughs> I really wanted to play something tonight, but I can't seem to get motivated. I keep playing this damn Thunder Dawn game, even though I've already played it. I keep telling myself, take this thing down and get on to something else. But Murray just played it. But I can't seem to do it. Big Bethel. I need a Big Bethel game because I don't have one. New Bern. I got a New Bern game. I don't have a Rappahannock station game. Mill Springs. We don't have one of those. Oh, uh, it's coming. I've already seen the two. Uh, uh, Nord, did you see the uh, in the video where I filmed the Crampton's Gap and Fox Gap maps? That's going to be part of the Gleam of Bayonets, too. So that one's not that one. That, so that part of it's done, and the Antietam one's being worked on, so that's not too far out. I can say I, I didn't lie a few months back when I said they're working on a lot of stuff. It's kind of like with Herman Luffin's Blind Swords. You got different people doing design work. Well, GBACW has at least five or six people that are, you know, got their hands in different pots. So yeah, so you can count on Glenville Bayonets too, because like I say, Crampton's and Fox Gap. I've already seen those. They had them up there at the con. Yeah, I'm excited about those. That system's growing too. I mean, <sighs> a lot of people would like to see another glory box come out. You think they'll ever update the old ones? I don't know. It's a good system. Seems like people like it. 
Camp plays it. He likes it. Camp's over. He, he does really good videos. I need to do some shout outs to a couple people. I need to get I need to get Mandarin Mike shout out. Get him. Mike, I was so tickled that you crossed that that number, dude. That's awesome. God, why am I yawning? My God, I took a nap tonight. Well, it's nap time again. No, I can't. I took two at work. <laughs> yeah, glory is a good. It's a, that's a good system. And it's amazing how you you don't you really see that system shine when you get into when you get like watch camp go watch Camp Sawyer's um Fredericksburg one he did when all those units get in contact with each other that's when that system starts to die. <clears throat> it's funny the map I'm watching the wardrobe broadcast on YouTube and that map's just moving all over the place and. And I'm actually in the game here. It's a bat birdie moves at all. Because I'm so zoomed in, I guess. Well, whenever you move, it moves to that. But oh, right. On the live thing, every little cursor move you make is. Moving. Every little cursor move. Sorry, I don't get my channel three by copyright violation. Yeah, Mike's got a good channel. You guys get over there if you don't. I'm sure most of you guys here do, but if you don't, get over to Mandarin Mike's and uh, get on his channel. He's got some good stuff on there. Mike put, probably puts out more videos than any of us does right now. Yeah, I subbed him the other day. Golly, dude. What is up with this? One? I got to take mouse training here. What do you what do you got uh, going up on your channel right now, Mike? I'm waiting for him to put Case Blue up as a giveaway so I can win that one. Yeah, when's that happening, Mike? I like his pantry commercials and his food stuff. <laughs> I'll be watching. <laughs> Jester. Jester, when are you going to send me some games? Yeah. You know you want to purge that cabinet next to your desk. Every cursor move you make. Pick which minis I will paint next. Well, I would be amazed if all of our local group nerds aren't all over that one yet, Mike. Hey, Jeff, what are those little Civil War ones you had painted up the other day you had online? Oh, yeah, I, I finished one brigade or one, uh, yeah, I finished a, a whole brigade. What rules are you playing? Oh, uh, McMurray gave me some and I forgot what it was now. You know, I am. I'll paint for a day or two that I put all the way and we'll look at it for a month. We'll take them off your hands, Jester, believe me. I've been begging you for two years now. I'll take some. I'm not too proud to beg. Ain't too proud to beg. <laughs> well, sweet darling. Oh, musicals with Jesse. Uh, Nor I pretty much, if, if I'm going to paint anything military, it's just 15 millimeter. I mean, you know, I had all that World War II stuff I was painting, and that's sitting over in the corner just staring at me like, hey, 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 finish us. Then I started on this Civil War stuff. And I got, see, I got, oh, no, I can't, but I got some, I got another couple lines right here I'm painting with Johnny Rebs, probably Pettigrews. No, yeah, probably, no, nah, I should probably do Archer or Davis with those.
Mark, how you doing, buddy? Mark, you missed a good con in Gettysburg, brother. Brother. The three tank leader series games. Were, you have where Eagles Dare? I know somebody that wants that, but I'm sending it to them. Joey! See the picture online, Joey. I think of you and your wife the other day. You posted yeah. something. Like that. Uh, Brock and Bro's Brigade is done. I think I, I probably this next batch needs to be probably needs to be Archer and then Davis and Pettigrew. And I got some Iron Brigade. I'm I've started. I'm not fond of painting the blue bellies, but you know I guess it's got to be done. We like it, Clark. Yeah, Heath definitely. Might as well start where it started, right? I figure, you know, 15, 20 years from now, I'll get it all done. Well, I got that one. Best ever, Jester. Yeah, but I'm hand painting, hand painting the flags, which is interesting. Yeah, I got you. I know, Mark. Yep, I know. Oh, okay. So all you guys, make sure you go over to Warmuch channel and look at his first Hex Encounter YouTube video game introduction that he shot and it posted today. He did a great job. I can't move up there. Hmm. Yeah, Je he did. He did a, a good job on that video. What's the stacking limit? Uh, I think it's three, but I'll check. Three units. Yep. Yeah, he he is, uh, Mike. Yeah, so when I see it on here, I see a little chain link in Todd's channel if you're typing from my channel. So you're going to see, Mark, if you go to Consum, you're going to see LBW down there. Steve's going to be down there. Yeah, we'd we'll be playing some Labat, some Ligme. Labat. So, so wait, so you're, you, Jeff, I mean, they're playing the same one you just got. That's kind of cool. Oh, there's my alarm. Are y'all playing lean? You see what you said? Yep. Joey, when are you going to finish putting up those, uh, tutorials on how to do Atlantic wall, the, uh, allied, uh, reinforcements coming in. Some of us need to see those still. Oh, wardrobe's live. We like Dave Days. It's an easy game to play, but it's it's a good monster game. It's got lots going on, which makes it complex just because of the size. But you don't get bogged down in a lot of rules. My store is in uh, somewhere above Canada, Florida, North Dakota. <laughs> it's like up in the Arctic Circle. Right now it's 95 degrees out today. 2 in the morning here. Tick -tock, tick -tock. Come on, Todd. He wants <laughs> one overrun so he can go to play. Just one overrun, Todd. He's just he's oh, hanging on. Who's that? Overrun one of your own units if you have John. I'm tempting you, Joey. At, oh, at the very Haley. least, Joey, put it on a private private channel then so I can watch him. Day of days. Best SCS game in existence. Good Lord. Sorry, John.
That's a system that I tried. Death Ride. Nope. Don't no, want that'd be, not doing it. Nope. That'd be awesome. We need that, that every, game every, full circle. Everyone I know that plays it's like it's just it's terrible. Not terrible, not everyone, almost everyone I know that plays it just has a bad experience with it. So it's the effort and time are not necessarily worth it. The effort to, effort to fun ratio. I don't know. For me, it's hard to beat Atlantic Wall. So. Oh, I'm sorry. We we're talking about Death Ride. I'm not talking about Goss. I'm talking about Death Ride. No, I know that. That's what I was saying. For me, it's hard to beat Atlantic Wall, but I'd probably give Death Ride a shot. Jester's leaving. All right. Good luck, Jester. Nothing's Good happening. Later. He's like, I'm out of here. Nothing's happening. He's got to go film stuff, he said. Meandering Mike's going to be silent. He's filming. We're such an inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you're doing okay, Clark Commando. Yep. Hi, Mark. To him, Mark. They're dropping like flies. They're like, good Lord, play something on it. Get some action here. Uh, so what is that note Wait. there? That's my favorite, Joey. It's probably my favorite game of all time right now. <laughs> What's that? Atlantic Wall. Oh, yeah. It, I mean, Goss is one of those that uh, it sure sounds cool. Looks cool. Yeah, I love the I love the idea of playing it one too. <laughs> yeah, but if you just play it for a little bit, it's not as hard as everybody. Thinks. It, it probably isn't. I mean, that you're probably right. It's just like all it's these a, games. You just play it in a matter the of yeah. I mean, SCS technically takes a little while to get back into a groove after you haven't played for a while. What's the biggest game you ever bought? Biggest game I ever bought is uh, Casca. Yeah. Saying, I, I didn't see what game he was. Oh, talking. he said uh, Atlantic Wall Decision Games is probably what he saw. Well, yeah. The biggest one I got is the entire War in Europe. The SP, uh, yeah, the SPI War in Europe. Unless you want to count all the Europa games that Rich sent me together as one. Well, that's true. Yeah, TSWW Barbarossa is pretty good size, too. Hey, Richie. Actually, I didn't even buy the War in Europe. I found that at a thrift store and got, got it for free because the, the person that had the the two boxes full of games didn't know what they were. They were worth. He thought they were worth twenty five cents a piece at best. Nordic, I like BCS. That's my second favorite system after Goss. I love BCS too. I think BCS is a fun little fun little system. It's very well done. It's another way of playing monster games, but. Dean is really good at making all of his rules fit into the charts pretty well. Uh, we have a uh, we have one party here involved that would disagree with us on that one. <clears throat> What's that? We have one party here amidst the three of us that would disagree on that. You? No, I love BCS. Todd doesn't like BCS. I just didn't get it. Didn't sync up. I couldn't. I got. I played four or five times. And I'm like, you know what? It's not syncing up. Time to move to something else. Sorry, bro. <laughs> but Todd does like GTS, and I can't fathom the interest to play it. So 
That's the interesting thing about game mechanics. I'm surprised other people haven't popped into Vassal since it's not secured. <laughs> to see what's going on in here. Haters are going to hate. See, Joe, we didn't. BCS wasn't for him either. There you go. Well, you know what? Until Joey puts those videos up, See you, I'm not listening. Wow. Oh, golly. I'm just moving <laughs> right he knows I'm kidding. I got to post my review of um, Miracle at Dunkirk. Who's Clark? Who's Clark Commando? Is that Mark who? Mark Rizzero. Oh, okay. He's going to crash. Good night, Mark. Sam Mark. Nordic, uh, I don't know if you can rely on Italians to do anything, can you? Arietti. Arietti can be pretty handy. Speed bumps are valuable at certain points. That's true. It's like the freaking cavalry in GBACW. You keep stumbling upon units that haven't moved. You don't have to move them. It's accurate. Come on. Any force that is bold enough to wear a little black feather sticking out of their hat's got to be super. Never understood Il Duce's philosophy on uniforms. But it doesn't matter because this is the greatest game ever made right here. This one? Yep. Okay. What are you drinking over there? Do. It's not the greatest game ever. 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 It's my new favorite SCS game. Well, you could make an argument it's the best SCS game, maybe. But... Well, Todd's favorite SCS game is Victory Awaits. The only SCS I ever played was Autumn for Barbarossa and this one. What did you think of that one? I liked it. It's a fun little game. I think uh, the Smolensk OCS version is the better. Same maps, but. Steve, if you want to get rid of those red lines, you can do that. Okay. Or I can do it, but. But then I'm afraid if I guess if I move, you'll get moved back to me, won't you? I can take that off. Yeah, I need to get back into the TCS stuff. That's another system I, I that I've played a little bit of, and I like it. Yeah, these two guys love SCS best, and uh, McMurray and uh, Todd do. I own it, never played it. I still want to play the 11th Panzer stuff, the battles on the Sheer River. I still haven't played any of that. Yeah, I haven't played that one yet. Yeah, you did. You played the scenario on Basel. Yeah, that's that I did, but it was a really small one. I don't think I got to really take advantage of all the stuff, you know. All right. Oh, that'd be cool, Casca. I, I've started to play that, I think, once or twice. I'll tell you another good one, if you don't mind computer games, is um, the Smolets game from um, War Game Design Center. I've started that one a couple times, too. It's good. That's a fun game. The John Tiller games. I know, I've done the Civil War John Tiller games, and I just don't like how they play. They play kind of weird. Now, have you tried the newer ones or the older ones? Both. Because right, the newer ones are a much better game. I'm playing one with Devin right now. I like War in the East, too. Oh, that's a great game. That's I, like first one. I haven't mastered the second one yet, but the, I love the first one. Yeah, I think the... Hey, Joey, you got your ass handed to you? 
Dan and I are playing one of the Atlanta. We're playing in the Atlanta campaign. One. He likes that that theater. All right, I'm at supply. I'm not going to do any combat. Yeah. What about exploitation? Oh, yeah. Thanks. You know, I'll take all the moves off. I did that. You did that? Okay. All right. I'm going to take an old man bladder break. I'll be back. Don't you just have a see there's chair? more cookies cooling down over there. You just have a bucket under your chair. It's easier. <laughs> All right, so everybody, so this is exploitation phase, which means anyone that's got yellow uh, can exploit move, which is just regular yeah. move, and then you can overrun, so it allows you to do some extra attacking in the thing. I just don't have anything as the Germans, and you can't overrun in the bocage. Right. Yeah, you're right, Casca. The AI just runs to the victory locations, unfortunately. I don't think there's much I can do here. I mean, the, the, the benefit is I can, it's just another movement phase for the exploits. But most of my exploit stuff's already kind of near. Well, I guess I got these guys down here, so that's good. So, where do I want them? You can't exploit move if you're in the enemy zone of control. Yeah, that's probably that's probably one of the, the headaches of playing a monster sized game on a live vessel. What <laughs> this kind of stuff? Yeah, a lot of time moving. Yeah, I, I didn't think about what would be happening this turn, but what what we need to do is go live when it's his turn. Right. And then maybe start going live when it's my turn, like maybe when I start getting reinforcements and can start doing something. Right. Yeah, because you're not doing most of the attack. I mean, so are you even attempting to drive them back into the beaches or? Oh, I mean, I don't have, I mean, I just don't got, I don't have any power here. <laughs> right. And you know, and I, and I totally forgot about exploitation. I should have kept my guys stacked because here's some open ground. I totally forgot about it. So, yeah, well, it's the way it goes. It's the way the cookie crumbles right into my mouth. I have to rub it in. Rub it in, Maul. Rub it in. My number seven. Well, what do you think about trying to do like a couple times a month, Todd? That'd be good. No, I would. Uh, that would be good. Wish I'd remembered that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will win guarantee. Remember, I spent five minutes with you in an OCS game. Why is that Joey saying that? Yeah. And I'm still not opposed to, because I know Joey and I tried it, and uh, Steve and I tried it, but playing the GBACW in Vassal, but it's you can't you can't play a PBEM. You got to play it. You got to be live with each other playing it, just because of all the return fire rules and stuff like that. I mean, I would probably enjoy the hell out of it. I mean, there's probably a couple games I would enjoy the hell out of. I tried doing the bail on me. Bill, we just never got back to it. What did happen? I don't think you liked it. I don't think you liked it. You, at the time, you weren't really oh, like it. Yeah, it was my my vassal crutch that. No, you yelled at me. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> That's exactly what Jeff does. He's always yelling at people. He yelled at me like I made vassal or something. That's what he does. All I wanted to do is play a Civil War game with him. All I want to do is be friends. That's all I wanted to do. Uh. 
Clay's wanting to spend some time with me here. <coughs> yeah, we can even do some other times, Todd, or if we get together to do a part that we think will be boring, we can just not broadcast it, and then we can save a broadcast one. For I, I, I tell you what I'm considering. You know, so I was just talking about, like I say, once the middle of September is here and done and gone, and I'm done with messing with golf for the year, and the weather starts to change, and I am, like I said, I am dabbling with Vassal now, learning how to use the thing properly, the best, the best that I can. Might not be a bad idea for me to have a couple of games, but I'm going to tell you right now, if it's if it's any game that has weird return mechanics like return fire in GJCW, we got to play it. It's got to be like Todd and Steve are playing right now. I mean, we don't have to be live for everybody in the world to see, but. We got to be, be a vassal face to face, you know. That's the best way to play vassal, though. I mean, play by email is just, you know, kind of like an emergency, or if you got like a big thing to do and you just need to take time on it. But yeah, face to face is the best. I'd I'd love to play some GBACW with you and go through all the Valley of Death stuff. Oh, what would really be cool is if we could get like three or four people playing. I mean. What, that like, be awesome? Can two people like move counters at the same time? Yeah. Yeah, you just have to turn off the you just gotta turn off the center on your opponent. It's one little click of the button and you're good to go. You could have you could have six people on a side moving counters if you wanted. Well, Jeff, that's how we played that day of days, the I'm sorry, the greatest day thing. There was five of us on there playing at right. one time. Well, it was it was cool when I was up at Gettysburg and they were playing wilderness and my king. I must have moseyed off or something. Or when I came, oh no, when I came back on the second day, they had two chip cups for activation markers, and I really wasn't paying attention. And only the southern half players were there on the battlefield, so I was I was drawing their chits for them. And then the other group came in from the battlefield. They must have gone to lunch, and they were playing on the northern half of the map. Oh, okay. And they were like draw chits. So I reached in the same cup. They said, no, 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 this cup over here. They had split the battlefield in half. So that multiple people could be moving at the same time, and now because I, I kept asking myself, how the hell are they going to get this campaign game done? And now I see how they did it. Yeah, I suppose if it's not going to affect anything, Mike, I don't have any local friends. I can't do that. I know there's a couple of okay, now I'm done on the channel that aren't too far from me, but. Yeah. So what's supply for Germans? All the exit points there? Or I think it's all the all the exit roads on the east and the south map, I believe, are, are so yours. Basically, is it just trace? So they just got to find a way, a route around to hit a road and get to it? Yeah, and I think you got to be within five five hexes of a road or trail. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I mean, the only, stuff, the only stuff that would have trouble doing that might be uh, – some stuff up on the beaches. Now, do those guys go out of supply? I assume normally. I don't know if the strong points do. No, I'll read that. No, you. Strong points never. They don't need supply. Your strong points wouldn't, but your infantry would. Yeah. You got a few infantry pieces that are cut off. Yeah, I got I got a couple guys around the area here that love to play face to face. And I, I can go play every Saturday with my buddy Wade, but uh, I don't know. I'm too I'm too antsy for that. That's why I didn't go to. I mean, uh, the fact that I live an hour away from Gettysburg, that's why I didn't go up there and just stay all week because I know me. I want to come home to where all my toys are. <coughs> And Todd, when you and I played, we played within co-op, so. Yeah. Because Jeff, because Jeff and I aren't, you know, we're not fighters. Pay is minimal, the hours are long. There's only one problem with that statement, Mike. A lot of the Gen Zers right now, you got to pay them. They deserve to be making way more than those of us that have worked for forty years.
See you, Chucky. Chuck, Thanks, Chuck, you're out. It's so early. Must have some special food on the grill. Well, how much are we playing here, Todd? Are we wrapping up here to start uh, the next year? Or I think we should probably just wrap it up here. It's been two hours, so an hour and yeah. a half. I mean, well, so what weather reinforcements? Oh, do you have more airdrops coming in? Uh, there might be some. There might be some PM gliders. I think I'm not sure. Well, we could probably do that. That probably won't take long, right? Uh, I'd like to read the rules on it, and I can do the weather and the reinforcement stuff for my stuff and uh, all that stuff, and send it to, send it to you so you can look at it. And then we can stop for. Oh, that. Oh, that's true. You can do. I can do all the way up through barrage because it's just movement and stuff like that that won't be affected by you. Well, uh, you can go weather reinforcements, which includes reinforcements, airdrops, landings, road march, and then you'd have to stop at road march. I mean, you can do road because then you have movement. I could do movement DG removal for all of us, and then when I get ready to do barrage, we could we could probably go online for barrage. Oh, that's oh online for right, yeah, because movement is you can have overrun. Oh, that's well, that's true. Uh, the only ones that can overrun are the. Yeah, I guess if I get to an overrun, I could stop there and we could, you know, if an opportunity presents itself. Come on. It's funny, Nord. Funny. <laughs> the problem is the dog would never get to the pork chop because I'd eat it before it got that chance. <laughs> That's true. Stacking. Do you, you don't live too far from me, do you? So that's the project. We're trying to get a friend for Jeff. You believe in those stinking friends? Look at you guys, man. I'm, I'm all about enjoying some solo gaming. It's fun, but there's something about going head to head with somebody else and seeing how, they, seeing how they move and what they do, you know? Yeah, I thought you were too far from me. Yeah, no, yeah, well, see, Todd and I, we play co op because. Neither one of us wants to be a sorry ass loser to another person. <laughs> We're both afraid the other's going to beat the shit out of the other one. Okay, but if you play a monster game like Atlantic Wall or Walk Them Ryan, it'll take you years before you'll even know if you're losing. Yeah, but if I develop Alzheimer's in that period, I won't remember who the hell That's fine. We'll walk you through it. <laughs> as long as Todd's changing your diapers. No. Nope. I wear depends. <laughs> I, bought I don't care what you're wearing I'm not changing <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate the offer <laughs> it's like a, I don't care we just we just play in like a tile room and just hose them off about every couple hours <laughs> <laughs> he, hey, he really used to get on our Facebook chats with us at night <laughs> <laughs> no, I, yeah, maybe. Oh boy, <laughs> you, might, you, might, you might retract that statement. <laughs> we are a fun bunch, I'll tell you right now. I'm sorry, I'm doing a couple movements that I didn't do. I hope that's all right. Yeah, I was like, I was like, you're, you're moving some dudes. Yeah, you took your hand off the counter. Yeah, that's what I do, man. Over. <laughs> I won't never cheat. had a problem playing solo. I don't never, know why I'm doing now. I've never had a problem. <laughs> never had a problem with my regular opponent. Look, we're turning Joey's stomach. <laughs> what, Joey what? just saying that. I know Joey was laughing at that joke. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you what. Uh, supply and SCS is so easy compared to some of the other games. Yeah. Hell, it isn't. I think this guy's. I think this guy. Mm, 
Oh no, he's he can get here and get that he's railroad. In Bismarck, North Dakota. Which guy? Uh, this guy here. He's fine. Little Big Wars. Did you turn off your thing? He's got a website. No, I see you. No, we're in. I'm in Fargo. Yeah, Fargo. I'm sorry, Fargo. Fargo, Fargo North Dakota. Hey. I think I've got the few marked that are. Uh, wait, are these guys? That's where where's that. Where's that guy tracing supply? You can't use that. Can't use that railroad, can you? Oh, it's not railroads. Okay. I don't think so. I wow. think you're right. Okay. I'll do some. I'll do some reading on that before we play next time. We can trim up any of that stuff. Wait, wait are you talking about this guy here? Yeah. You can go one, two. Oh, oh, I'll, I'll get it. The whole thing has to be road. Road or trail, I think. Why can't railroads be used? What's the point of railroads in? Yes, Steve. I don't know. I'll go look it up. Maybe they can. Hold on. No, I think you're probably right. Well, I'm looking it up now. Oh, well, then this guy's out of supply, too. I wouldn't have moved him there, but I did, so too bad. <laughs> no, no, Joey, Fargo was above Canada. It's up near the Arctic Pole, the North Pole or something. Steve's pretty good on Shoot. Oh, God. It says rotor trail. you got to go five X's from a rotor trail that's connected to a supply source. Cool. I marked him out of supply that more than... Yeah, but how can his airborne that's out of supply cut you off? Well, because they no, they get it to they got what they need for the day, man. Oh, you're still on the first day. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Three. Uh, I think on shipping, what we do on our website, if it's over sixty dollars, it's free. If it's under that, we charge like a flat rate of like six fifty. And we do not answer to Trudeau. No, we do not. <laughs> no, they make movies about pregnant female cops. What? Fargo, the pregnant female cop that's in the movie. Oh, I've never seen the movie. They didn't even shoot the movie in Fargo. They shot it up in Grand Forks, north of us. Those of us that don't live there wouldn't know that. Well, those of us that do, do. Do do. <laughs> you just ate I knew as soon as I said that. I was like, I was gonna run with that. As soon as I said it. <laughs> uh, they're so juvenile, it's fun. It is it's gotta make it fun. That's the kid, the kid in us that stays out. Well, and I think what I'm gonna talk to Todd about doing on his channel is we'll do some things where when we run in a game like this, I'll give you guys like a anyone that shows up live will give them like a promo code they can get like every all my wargaming stuff is pretty much 10 percent off retail and then we'll do like another 10 or 20 percent off for anybody that watches live they can get the code yeah. and we'll make I'm it good for like, uh, i'm it. not getting it and mr wardrobe dropped his off he's not getting it either not, not getting it doesn't oh you're not getting africa 41 no it doesn't look appealing to me no, I'm trying to limit the games I'm getting and playing. So, and I have a North Africa one I haven't played yet in uh, SCS. So, and I love I like seven inch games a lot. I like them, but um, all right. So there, there, there we are. I'm sorry, everybody. That, that, so what we'll do uh, next time is we'll, we'll go live on ones where we know there's going to be some action. I should have known that this one wouldn't be a whole lot. This is basically me moving up. But you got to hear us banter and stuff. I think it was good. I think it seemed worthy. <laughs> But um, but we'll we'll get some more action next time. But uh, I don't know. I just moved some stuff up to try to be a pain in the butt. Try to block road march. Blah blah blah. There's a lot more Germans around there now than there were. That's for sure. Um, I thought this encounters are so intermixed where all that airborne troopers are. I thought you were playing a Vietnam game. Yeah, that's kind of a mess. So the next turn is turn. Four. Oh, oh, is it really? Yep. No, wait. Wait, what yep. turn is what do we turn we just play? We just did three, so it's the June sixth AM turn. Crap. I was supposed to get reinforcements. I didn't know we were on that turn. <laughs> oh, well place your reinforcements then if you want. I'll just put them on the entry point and I won't move them. Yeah, if you wanna you could do a log file and send it to me. You just move them like as is if you moved them and then I can take take it from there and do mine. 
Uh, Mike, yes, I know okay. because when he told me that. how happy he was, he won the Napoleon game. I said, "You won Wellington's victory." Now, mind you, of the heart attack story with Warbot, I told him, "You get that game and open it; it will kill you flat out right." So he elected for the mystery box. I'll put them on their things. A, C, or D, or P. Dang it. Do we have a? Do we have it on the turn chart here? Oh, we sure do. Oh, we have it on turn four. Or you just moved it to turn four? I just moved it to turn four. Oh, those That's are reinforcements back there from Big Stacks. Yeah, I messed up. And I have a nice opponent, so. I heard he's an asshole. Oh, wait, is he on here? <laughs> Anybody that eats fudge cookies online. That's fine, dude. I'm going to go over and get my ninth cookie here in a minute. Bitch. <laughs> you just deal with it. Oh, where's P? Oh, it's probably, oh, it's way over there. Oh, these it's guys. Are oh, they coming on that. Yeah, down at the bottom. What are you doing with that last cookie? I did it. <laughs> she I made them. I guess I'm not getting the last cookie. Hey, she made them. You know what? No good deed goes on. No, that was my wife. Well, yeah, she did make them too. Yeah, but no good deed. I let you put your reinforcements on them because of this delay. I didn't get to get over to the kitchen and get that last cookie I've been looking at for the last half hour. Oh, boy. How does that work? I hear a lot of complaining. Yeah, that's all I got. Yeah, those units come in on P. They're not very powerful. I was going to offer it to you anyway. Don't believe him. I was just teasing Jeff about eating it. You made me save that for your experience. It's pretending to be tough. Yeah, I did. See? Je oh, hey, tell Jeff that, Erica. Tell Jeff that? Tell Jeff what you just said. My dad did say, save the last cookie for your mom. So. Huh? Oh. But again, he was going to walk over there and grab it. <laughs> well, maybe. If she took too long, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, if... All bets are off. If we finished up our game and nobody was there, I'd walk in there and be like, "Well, if nobody wants it, I mean, like a like a freaking cookie ninja." <laughs> You'd be surprised how sneaky I can be. <laughs> what are you doing now, there, Tommy? I'm just moving around stuff randomly. <laughs> While Steve's distracted, he did tell me Steve the message he sent me night about. I need to be on here because it distracts you and he can get away with shit. <laughs> well, in all fairness, I haven't watched any of his moves. I'm just trusting he's doing it right. So. Yeah, Casca, I will agree with you on that. Except for the freaking thought on the damn French, putting that black on some of those blue counters is, is was a bad idea. And the Prussians even more so. But the color separation, you're right, is. Yeah, I can't wait till you know, you know, my first experience with these multicolored mixed up games is this Glory and Empire one. But and it's that thankfully that was just a small counter mix, but I can't imagine when I do eventually test out Lava Tie. Oh, I saw a tasty cakes truck today. Thought about holding it up. Where are you from, Nordic? Hey, you should have brought your happy ass to the Gettysburg thing, Nord. What was in the mystery box, Mike? Does, did, did you already tell everybody what was in that thing? Oops. I'm oh, sorry, Joey's out there where Mark lives. Joey, are you going to Consim? Oh, I can't. I don't know. Did you go to Compton? I thought, Joey, I thought you lived in San Diego for some reason. I don't know why. Hmm. So he just moved this way. Well, 
I got you. We have about three. Well, I know one guy that I met two years ago. He came down. Him and his wife came down from Pittsburgh. I think we had two or three there from Pittsburgh, actually. How close is Phoenix to Tempe? Isn't that right by Tempe? They're all in the same desert. Can't be that far apart. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Mm -hmm. There ends the geography lesson. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. So he doesn't know what it is yet, okay. So are you going to Consum, Joey, or not? Todd? I think so many of this movement done fast, we can call it good. Do, 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 I'm not going to do it here, but can units move and road march? off a reserve because you know they start stacked normally you can't do it so can no they... it said that was an exception entry okay. points are an exception okay All right well that's how i'm going to penalize i'm not getting my road march so well, you can go ahead and do it I don't no because that that's too confusing like who was where who did what that kind of thing there's no way okay Hey, Joey, do you still have all the scans of the Case Blue Battle Book? Like the ones you sent me originally? Casca, we're playing Labatt. I'm liking it. I do, I do Demont St. Jane. <sighs> Three, four, five. We might get you to send me those, Joey, so I don't have to tear mine apart and scan them. <laughs> Nomadic Jam. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. All right. Now I'm done. Are you All sure? Right. Are you sure? To move off. If you move your hand from your mouse, your turn's over. All right, hold on. Everyone, you got the cookies cleaned off your cheek or chin or what? <laughs> yeah, I did. All right, everybody. Jeff, turn on that camera. Come on. No, man. I got the Put teeth. your shirt on. I don't have a teeth. Teeth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get your pants and shirt on and well, turn your camera on. I don't care about his pants. Well, it depends on where the camera's at. Not true. Wait a minute, Casco. We still having shrink wrap. <clears throat> he's um. Jeff's gonna be good because your daughter's in the house, so he's gonna be yeah, nice, I'm nice. I'm a good guy. I'm a nice guy. So hey, everybody, thanks for coming on. Uh, yeah, Steve, yeah. Don't, Steve. don't 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 leave yet, Steve. But I'm uh, thanks for playing, uh, yeah. Jeff. Thanks for hopping on. You missed a chocolate chip, Steve. Right there. Yeah, there's big. You got a big, huge crumb in your your beard there. <laughs> um, it's gray hair. It's gray um, hair. Anyway, thanks all for jumping on. We'll, so what we'll do is we'll we'll play some more stuff. Like he's going to be able to do some stuff he, I don't have to be there for. And then we'll, if, if we can, we'll come on live for his next turn because he, he can do a lot more stuff, some more action there. So John Haley can get some uh, action on his uh, YouTube viewing. Um, I'll have to send John Haley a refund now for the poor showing of no action and no <laughs> die rolling. We rolled zero dice this turn game. It's a fun game. Um all right, thanks all for watching, and we'll see you the next uh, live play for day of days. Hung goodbye.